Hi Kiwis, here's Alexandra and welcome to another video. I was asked um, how I am able to come up with new stories and background uh, information about my invented stuff on uh, Space Marines or anything else. So, um, well, this is uh, some kind of an answer. Um, in order to create your own background stories, uh, you have to uh, be aware of the existing fluff background of your army and uh, on the whole universe of um, the gaming system you are uh, trying to create new fluff. And then you um, should create something that would fit into uh, this existing story. For example, um, if you want to uh, make something uh, about the Dark Angels, uh, so for example a successor chapter, um, then you have to consider the background of the Dark Angels itself and uh, not invent something uh, totally new for the Dark Angels. Uh, you got to base your uh, stuff on the Dark Angels. Here, for example, this here uh, should supposed to be a, a renegade Dark Angel, uh, one of the fallen angels. Yes, I know. Um, <laughs> this uh, comment was written maybe uh, two to three hundred times under uh, the video uh, for this marine. Yes, uh, fallen angels should be black. But, uh, as I wrote down uh, in the description under this video, I imagined uh, that maybe some of the dark angels uh, may have fallen, uh, well, um, using green armor and uh, if you would uh, make a dark angel, uh, a fallen dark angel, uh, black, it would look like this. And hey, we have this color scheme already. This is just a uh, black legion legionnaire. Okay, um, yeah, you have to uh, create something new and fresh. So, and uh, the pur purpose of this video is uh, to show you how to create new fluff. Now I want to create with you something totally new and different. Um, we all knew the existing background about uh, the Chaos Space Marines here, the Night Lords and the Iron Warriors, the Death Guard and the loyal ones like the Ultramarines, the Blood Angels, here again a Renegade one, the Alpha Legion and all the other stuff, World Eaters. Southern Sons, uh, no, not Southern Sons, uh, Emperor's Children, sorry, uh, Black Legion again, and here, uh, and later founding the um, Blood Ravens, and uh, so on. But, um, well, this is predetermined fluff, and I want to create now with you guys something totally new. Um, I have seen that uh, pop up here and there on Deviant Art or on Bolter and Chainsword or on other uh, websites. And the thing I want to create with you together is an alternative Horus heresy. Just imagine, what if Horus wasn't the Arc Traitor? So, uh, for example, Let's dive into the background story of the Horus Heresy. Who is responsible that the Horus Heresy took place all along? That was one man. He was called Erebus. It was uh, a dark apostle or a chaplain of the word bearers. So let's assume, let's just assume for, for a clumsy little moment that one Eldar one elder Farseer had the insight, okay, this man, this man has to die or something very, very terrible will happen. So and let's just assume for a tiny little moment that this Farseer had success and launched an invade party on an outpost or something like that, where Erebus was stationed for a few days or something, and they managed to kill him before the Horus Heresy, before he could corrupt Lorgar, the, his own Primarch, before he could corrupt Horus. Well, then we have a, a clean table to uh, discuss what would happen then. Horus would never be a traitor in the first place. So, <clears throat> and from that standpoint on, we can now decide 
the faith of the whole Imperium and the heresy completely new. Now it is up to you guys to decide which Primarch instead of Horus would lead the heresy. What do you think? Who is your favorite Primarch? What do you think uh, who would now lead uh, the uh, <clears throat> the avalanching assault on the Imperium? Would maybe uh, Guillaume take place uh, on this uh, everlasting challenge because he was so uh, hungry for power he expanded his uh, um, his whole uh, region uh, the uh, segmentum ultima and now he wanted his whole the whole Im imperium for himself maybe or maybe Joker Taikan from the white scars because uh, he found something crazy that makes him crazy something like that could you imagine the night lords being a loyal chapter or the iron warriors how about the imperial fists uh, would be the traitor and Rogar Dawn would be the arc betrayer or could you imagine the space wolf going crazy and uh, follow corn instead of the world eaters or the emperor's children maybe the um, well, the counterpart to the Ultramarines in this alternative world. So every uh, loyal Space Marine chapter would be descended from the Emperor's children, maybe. Well, it's up to you now. So write down in the comments, please, which Primarch would you think would be the next Horus? So and uh, I want to uh, create now the whole Horus Heresy new. And uh, step by step, we will together now create this story. So, <clears throat> I hope you liked this little video, and we we'll see us in the next one. You're Alexandra.